So we thought we'd put a video together about our experience with the 174 recall over in Las Vegas. Now this is a 2022 Echo inverter in the battery compartment, uh, regulator in the engine compartment. Uh, your configuration, of course, may vary. Arrived at a NIRVC in Las Vegas, and uh, Beth ended up doing the 174 herself. So, no, she didn't. She was cleaning. Probably a good idea because the techs are going to be under your seats. <laughs> you may want to run a vacuum down there, uh, ready to bleep some in line here, ready to go in. And the reason we went to NIRVC is because our dealer back east said uh, they couldn't do the 174. So we had to find an alternative and NIRVC got good marks from other owners. Here she is on her way. And uh, fortunately we got her back three days later. Well, she was done three days later, Wednesday afternoon. This is what we did once we got her back. First, a visual inspection. So you're gonna notice that your inverter is gone from the battery compartment and it's been replaced by a lot of other stuff and if you look under the hood you'll see that your Balmar regulator is gone relocated well it's actually gone because I think we got new regulators as part of the 174 under the seats again this is where the bulk of the work is done uh, you'll see your inverter is here now and your uh, gulper pump is in a slightly different position uh, kudos to Nick over at NIRVC. He uh, preserved our uh, gulper switch, which I had added, so I didn't have to do that again. And uh, one nice thing about having the inverter here is that it's a lot easier to reach the button if you ever need it. And you want to also go through your Xantrex settings to make sure that your any custom settings that you're using are correct because uh, there's a possibility that the Xantrex was reset during the 174. And you can find that procedure on the Facebook group, thanks to David. We picked up the bleep, the battery was fully charged. It was actually 100 before I took this screenshot. So it's, you have to deplete that battery because imagine a bucket full of water, you can't fit any more in it. If the battery's 100%, the Valmar system won't charge because there's no need. So basically, you've got to deplete that battery. Uh, what I did is just ran a little space heater. You can also run your air conditioner if it's warm outside. But once you've got that load on, whether it's the heater or the air conditioner, you'll see that you've got a uh, you'll see that you've got a load on your Lithionics app. And there you can see the battery starting to deplete. We're down to 87%. At that point, you want to shut off the heater or the air conditioner, whatever it is you're using, to load the battery and start the engine. And of course, you're observing your Lithionics app the whole time. And you should see a power increase immediately uh, once you start the engine. Then what we did is we accelerated just uh, around the NIRBC area, uh, just going nice and slow. And you should see an increase as you accelerate the engine. Here is highway speed. And that's where you're getting maximum charging, 2.2 kilowatts. So that's that's a pretty good indication that your Balmar is working as it should. But then you've got to also test your solar system because the solar system gets unplugged when they do the recall. So all I did is I moved the rig in and out of the sun at a gas station. And the key here is you have to turn off the engine to uh, make the observation. Turn off the engine, look at your with the Onyx app. Here's in the shade, making zero amps. That makes sense because it's in the shade. And then once we moved into the sun, you can see I'm making eight amps. It was actually a cloudy day, so I'm not making a huge amount of power. If you have a generator, you'll also want to make sure that the generator is charging the battery as well. And then you also want to make sure that your shore power is working and your battery is charging under shore power. I made this one last because you should stay connected to shore power until your batteries are up to 100%. That will help to recalibrate your Lithionics uh, data monitoring system. That's pretty much it. You also want to check your other systems. Some owners have had issues with the air conditioner after the recall because of the easy start um, memory. 
you just want to do a general check, HVAC, other electrical systems, 12 volt outlets. Good luck.